Go. So here we are with our uh, blue ribbon awarded durian. Now the durian fruit is native to the uh, Southeast Asian area in the tropics. And as you can see, it's a pretty hefty sized fruit. This one itself weighs about six pounds, and the price range from about a dollar up to about five dollars a pound, depending on the market that you go to within the United States. Now I've been told that the color of the fruit in the inside is a yellowish gold color. It's known to have a strong smell to it, and people like Andrew Zimmerman uh, from the Discovery Channel, who are very well rehearsed in the, in the world, find this fruit to be horrible. But if you ask other people, they'll tell you it's fantastic. Can you explain the story about when this fruit falls and what the tree is uh, like? I'm not even sure if it's true, but supposedly the trees are really tall. They're at least like, they're really, like, I don't know, size-wise. But they're extremely tall, and these fruits grow at the very top of the tree. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, they have spikes, and they're it's very heavy. Actually and it's actually, it's actually quite painful if you hold it for a long time. So you can just imagine this falling from like 100 feet up onto your head. But the story goes that it only falls at night, so you don't want to go into one of the fields where they have these trees at night because it very, very well fall on your head. I don't know how true that is, but that's what they say. Oh, that's the stuff. <laughs> And, and what does it smell like? It smells it wonderful. Smells, it smells, to be honest, it smells like a, a fruit that's going bad. Yeah. Like, it's got a fruity, sweet smell, but it smells like it's going bad. Like, it's, it's been left out too long. It's definitely an acquired taste. Some people love it and others no. eat it. Some people can eat it if they don't smell it. But. Like she said, it's hard to, hard to hold, so we're going to set this down. And as you can see, we've already got a little slit started right here. So I'm going to pull this apart with my man, man hands. <laughs> and let you us got it. Be careful, baby. See what's going on. Oh, he got it. I'm so happy. Wow. Here. This now, is his first time with durian. He's splitting it open like a pro. I'm trying to split a small section. Right. Just to give you an idea. And as we can see the piece inside there, we don't want to open this thing all the way Has up. Does the smell, is it stronger? The smell's really not that much stronger, but it does start to provide a... sweet to me. It's still a sweet smell. As you can see, it's, we're going to pull this back without opening it any further so you can get a picture of the fleshy meat. And the texture is soft like ice cream. Now, if I'm, I'm kind of careful, I'm going to pull this right out. Okay, go. So as you can see, we've split that section open and you can see where that piece that's in the bowl lays. And uh, well, if you split it all the way open, you can see that there's more. Now we've been told that if you take one of these, that in the inside, you'll Push actually find Eat a it. seed. Sometimes the seeds are small, sometimes they're big. So as you can see, there's the seed in this one. Let's eat a little bit of it. It's my first time with durian. We'll get a nice, we'll get the bite with the seed and we'll suck on the seed a minute. Why did he stick the whole thing in your mouth? <laughs> you like it? Pull it out. <laughs> oh, the seed's small. As you can see, that's a durian seed. Okay. Now, it looks like the you taste... Puke. <laughs> it's it's kind of indescribable. <laughs> it looks like he's going to puke. I'm worried for him. You don't have to eat such a huge chunk, it'll make you sick. It's like squash and fruit together. It tastes a consistency like squash, and the smell's a little foul, and the taste is sweet like a... Ice cream. No, what is that fruit that we had in South America? The 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 uh, white the green fruit that I love that I showed you to with the seeds in it. Mark Twain liked that fruit. What was it called? Anyhow, it's got a consistency like squash, uh, a fairly rank sweet smell, and the taste. It's like a really super sweet squash. 
that's why it's heavily guarded by these spikes because it is that which is fantastic. <laughs> so, for four ninety nine a pound, if you would like to try one of these, please come down to your local Chinese market in Chinatown and pick one up. This is David Ko bringing you exotic fruits from all over the world with his exotic help. And we're out. <laughs>